Okay, Sleepy Joes, get ready to make some memes. Oh, please, you can't even make your own breakfast without going into a national crisis. Oh, great. It's the Bidenator here to ruin my tutorials. I just can't catch a break, man. Vote ban, vote kick, vote ban. Please vote ban this guy out of the video. I'm going to call you Biden because all I want to say is bye bye, Mr. Biden. Vote ban doesn't work. This isn't an Overwatch lobby. I can't believe you don't know this. Okay, so I was wondering how to make these memes for a long time, so I did a little bit of research and I found a slow but free way to do it and a paid but fast method. This works best with American voices because it did have some trouble deciphering my European accent. Here's a sample of that. I was only nine years old. I loved the B-movie so much. I had all the merchandise and movies. I'd pray to Barry B every night before I go to bed. But anyways, let's make some memes. If you have an Nvidia graphics card, you can actually generate these voices from text using only your computer completely free using the Tortoise text-to-speech software. First, you'll need to install Anaconda. I'll leave download link in the description. After that, visit this link and select your configuration. For me, it's Stable, Windows, Conda, Python, and CUDA 11.7. Making these selections generates this command line. You'll need to install PyTorch. So to do it, open Anaconda prompt. It should be installed together with Anaconda and just paste this command line in. To paste it, just right click it. It'll take some time to install and just type in yes once asked. Next, we'll need to install Git. The link can be found in the description together with all of the other links. I'll be honest, I'm not a big Git user. I'm just changing the default editor to Notepad++ and leaving the rest at default. I'm not quite sure if this is the best configuration, but it works for me. After you've installed Git, you can open up Anaconda prompt and run these Git commands to clone the Tortoise text-to-speech software. I'll leave the link to the original author of the software in the description as well. And finally, one of the last things that we need is actually the Python sound file that you can install using this command that I'll also leave in the description or the pinned comment down below. And at this point, we have an instance version of the Tortoise text-to-speech software that's going to be able to run on our computer. As you can see here, it's already preloaded with some voices and some voice samples, and I'll show you how to load in your own voices and voice samples later in this video. Okay, so let's get to the fun part of actually generating some voices. Here's how we generate speech using one of the provided voices. Open up Anaconda prompt and type in this command. You can type in the text you want for it to say, and I'm gonna use one of the voices provided at random for this and the fast generation preset. It will now start the generation process. After it's done, you'll see this results folder where you can actually listen to three variants that were generated to see which one you like the best. Hey guys, I'm just testing out this voice. Hey guys, I'm just testing out this voice. Hey guys, I'm just testing out this voice. Now you can listen through all of the voice samples provided and you can actually choose which one you want to use. For example, there's even a Morgan Freeman preset. However, you can also upload your own voice samples and add those as a new voice to use. The easiest way to do so would be to install a free program called Audacity. And to get a good sample, we need voices without any background noise and around three to five 10 second samples. Once you're inside Audacity, make sure to export them in the 22,050 Hz sample rate and add no metadata whatsoever. Now save these samples anywhere on your computer, go into the text-to-speech program and create a folder with your desired name. Upload all of your samples there. Now you'll be able to use them when generating voices. So I'll be honest, the quality won't be great at first, but we can actually improve it. 
By the way, if you're getting this error once opening Anaconda prompt, that means you're not in the right folder. You can type in CD Tortoise TTS to fix it. Let's improve the quality of my voice by adding emotion into the brackets and setting the preset from fast to standard. Hey guys, just letting you know that you should like the video. So I think this model doesn't really pick up accents and it was actually trained on American voices, so it Americanizes everything. However, there are paid options that provide a faster and a better way to do it. The one that I used for the intro of this video is called 11 Labs. American Emit here, just letting you know that these artificial voices are actually pretty good once you get the hang of it. Anyways, you should have liked the video by now. Instead of waiting hours, it only takes seconds to render out the voices, but it still makes me American. I've tried out the same service with samples of Trump and Biden voices from YouTube, and it was what you heard at the start of the video. Vote ban doesn't work. This isn't an Overwatch lobby. I think they turned out like really good. Anyways, I hope you've learned something new because I definitely did. And it was quite a fun tool to mess around with my friends. I was even able to clone one of my friend's voices just by using samples from his YouTube videos with his consent, of course. If you also want to turn your computer into a personal storage server, not just an AI voice generator, watch this video next.